can get some water in there or something? Yeah. I'm actually letting the auger run a little bit slow right now. A little bit of water got in the auger, so we just drained it. One thing that'd be nice underneath this auger here, if they had some doors that would open up so if it got rain in it, you could let it out. Well, the beans are unloading. We might as well crawl up and look in the truck quick. For you that haven't been around a semi-trailer, the floors are slanted, so when you open the door in the middle, everything slants down to the middle. See how it's just kind of slanting down? How long do you think it's going to take you to restore it? A couple of years. Once a year, you get a tire that gets low. Noisy as air compressor on the farm. Good morning everybody, welcome back. We are at the north side of Mary Lou's right now and as you can see the area behind us we had some issues with their bean head cut and right so we're going to be working on that this morning. Cooper broke the door latch last night when we were going to lock the door. So hopefully we can get that stuff fixed then it'll dry out a little bit and we should be able to combine some beans. So far this yield fielding pretty good because we got a whole semi just off this little area. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> this is your first day in the new equipment. Yes. All right Nat you're up. Advice for the day. Don't break the combine door handle. That's yeah, Cooper. For the last 45 minutes, Dad and Cooper have been trying to figure out why the left side of the head seems like it wants to flex, but the right side doesn't. We moved some stuff, so I guess we'll see. Running better? Yeah, a lot better. For some reason, our spreader speed got turned down too, so Coop turned that back up and now it's spreading a lot wider. Oh, good. Oh, look at this cart. Look at this cart. Avalanche. We're going to do the end rows down here. So we'll just kind of diddle daddle doodle da do 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 around here where we're waiting for them. Do 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 Trying to catch the combine. I'm flying down the dusty old bean field. On my mission to catch the combine. As I drive by it and I suck all that yucky dust into my air filter. If you take a look at them silver tubes, they're shooting a lot of air. They're forcing them beans into the head. Boom shakalaka. Looks like everything is running better now. And are you kidding me? Uh, start to sprinkle. White semi needs to be brought over there regardless. So we get rained out, we get rained out. No, we got the semi over there. better turn the air conditioning off you're gonna drive the tractor and get to know that yeah you should yes. because you're gonna need to be running it I know. so let Cole stick you in it Neva is gonna be our new grain cart driver a lot of people have been asking where Sable went she went to work for a uh, fairly large co-op I guess so it's something that she's been wanting to do so we know she's happy up there I've talked to her quite often now Neva is gonna be taking Sable's job but <laughs> I don't know if I'll be as good as her, but I sure will try. <laughs> Looks like I get to jump in the semi and be a semi driver, which I kind of enjoy at times too. Actually, every farm job during harvest is kind of a fun job. They're all very important, but whichever job you are doing yourself is the most important job. Oh, silly goose. What do you think you're doing here? Yeah. Oh, this heated seat works good. Yeah, it feels really good. Today is Neva's maiden voyage in the grain cart. And Cooper just took off because he has to go bale some hay for a neighbor and found a broken sickle section here, one that somehow bent up in there, and then we have a rock. Cooper just called. He's going to be on the way back. He needs this tractor to put on the baler. So he's going to be unhooking from the uh, auger here. I tell you what, just using this thing, this thing's been a dream. It is so smooth and quiet. I'm getting a little bit thirsty.
That works. Changing out sickles is one of those things. It, it looks like it should take three minutes, but it always takes 45. And these little bolts that hold the sickles in, once you get them so tight, if, if you just do it a hair too much, it snaps it right off. You got to smack it out and put a new one in. But here we go. I've never driven this combine. See so if figure out how to fold the auger in. Okay, I think it's moving. Yep, there it goes. Maiden voyage, baby! Alright, let's see what I can break. Mm, parking brake is there. Throttle. Back her up! I'm not kidding, guys. I legitimately just drove this in and out of the shop. That's it. Ooh, that's a big head. Wow. Header height sensor. Ah, ignore. Oh, looks like that's bad. I think this one turns on my rotor. Yes. I can hear it. This one turns on the head. And there we go. Holy smokes, there's so much to look at here. Nom 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 nom. This is kind of one of our rockier fields, so we especially in this particular spot that I'm in, I really need to keep my eyes out. Speaking of rocks, I think I see one right there. Get up to him, and then we'll do the old right over the top of you. See, these beans are doing pretty good right now. 80 bushels an acre. Three miles an hour. I better slow down a little bit. I keep an eye on my engine load. I want to keep that around 90%, 90 to 100. Going a little fast right there. <laughs> Boy, that head is so big. Holy smokes. Got a combine for about 15 minutes, right? And then I kept plugging up down here for some reason. Got digging around in some of this dirt, and I'm missing a bolt right there. It's a relatively easy fix, kind of annoying, but the only problem is I don't have one of those bolts. These ones on this little spine piece are a little bit longer, so that way they can fit through the spine than one that's over here. I think what I can do is that far end one. Our auto steer set to run about right here, so it's not really getting much action out there. So I might rub one from there. Natalie, it wasn't sprinkling until you showed up. I know, I know, I'm always bad luck. Cooper just ran off and made hay, so he's back now. I tried to come in a little different this way with the auger. I haven't used one of these augers much, so I gotta figure out where I wanna park. The main thing is, I just don't wanna hit the auger and put a scratch on it. Oh man, it literally sprinkled for like four minutes, like enough to get a rock damp. But at this time of night, that much moisture is enough to put us out of the field. While I was trying to get this straightened back out, I noticed we boogered up a guard. 